Hello and welcome to Birmingham Cameras Online. I'm Jules Carl. Well, the store is absolutely buzzing today because we are having a Nikon Touch and Try Day and I am joined by Adrian Gaynor. Adrian, it has been so busy here today. It's been fantastic. I was expecting a good turnout, but I was surprised at just how many people came down. And it was good to see them. We had uh, a wide range of people with different types of cameras learning, wanting to learn more about the cameras and excited to learn more about the new cameras we have on the market. So it's been great. It's a wonderful thing, isn't it, for the customers to be able to come in and touch and try and to talk to an expert like you about a camera that they might be interested in. That's why it's always important to stay in touch on our social media, join our newsletter so you get emails into your inbox that tell you about these events that are constantly going on um, in store. So what cameras have you brought to show us today? Well, I've got a bit of a, a cross-section here. Of course, no tour for Nikon would be complete without the, uh, the D850. Uh, it really is the star of the show these days because it's so accomplished in everything that it does. And uh, there's a huge demand there for people just to see it and put their hands around it and see how well balanced it is and to uh, get a feel for the camera. So the D850 had to be here. It's um, just so, so, so much in demand. But I thought it would also be nice to bring two other cameras that reflect uh, the middle and lower end of the Nikon range uh, because they excel in, in what they do as well. Uh, with the D7500, um, it's a very popular, slightly smaller, lighter camera. Mm -hmm. uh, the form factor and the weight suits people who are going to be traveling more. And the sensor is incredibly good in low light. For you guys out there who want a very responsive camera that's quick, fast focusing, and very good in challenging light situations. With a more modest budget, the D7500 is just fantastic. A smashing camera, uh, I've been playing around with this one for a while and I took it through a, a Southern State tour in the USA. I was blown away with how well it just proved itself as in all different types of conditions. So I had to bring that one. And then my wife, she's, she's a tough room. I've been trying to get my wife into better cameras for 20 years now and uh, for her it's always been form factor she's always been of the mind that if it's not going in the purse it ain't leaving the apartment i've been trying to nudge her up and i got her into a b700 bridge camera for those guys of you out there who wanted a nice bridge camera the b700 by the way it's fantastic but recently i said are you ready for a dslr she said i might be she could have anything she wanted she put her hands around the d5600 and just the sheer small size and the light weight of it, she said, I have to have this camera. It's got a touch screen. It's got a fully articulated screen. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to bring this to the party as well. So we've got a nice little sort of trifecta right here. We've got the big daddy, mm -hmm. the D850. No party would be complete without it. D7500, a really great mid-level camera with very high specifications. And for those people who want a camera that's light, nimble, small, I mean, it's tiny, but still very, very full-featured and very high-powered, the D5600. So, yeah, brought those three. We're here at the Irish Whiskey Museum to see the Nikon D7500 in action. OK, Adrian, what's the plan? Well, hopefully, on entry to the museum, we'll find both atmosphere and really difficult low-light conditions for any photographer. Should be a piece of cake for this baby, the D7500. And in a lot of those shooting situations, I'll be using the, the Live View. Uh, but I'd like to mention that, of course, when possible, for you guys at home, try to use the viewfinder because you'll create better posture and as a result, you'll be able to use slower shutter speeds to your advantage and still keep the camera a bit steadier. But there are those situations where you need to reach or you need certain angles. That live view is just great. But, you know, when, when you can do, use the uh, viewfinder. Fantastic. Let's go in and do some shots. Whiskey shots and yeah, photo shots. We are at the Irish Whiskey Museum and it's great to get overall shots of rooms and scene setting shots but it's also really cool to get detail shots. A beautiful whiskey bottle beautifully lit. So even though this camera may be fairly modest with the 18 to 105 lens on it, it's got great close focusing capability. The camera also, the D7500, works great in low light and it's got touch to focus on the live view. So even though that's an unusual angle, I can't get on a stepladder here in this public space and photograph it. This camera makes it easy. Let me demonstrate. <laughs> okay, so quite simply using the live view, uh, lift the camera, compose. I'm actually shooting this at 3200 ISO. Um, I'm using the auto color balance. Touch to focus on a focus point that's ideal for the label. And then 
lo and behold, and hopefully we should have a masterpiece. Nice. Now, we've been looking at all the amazing features here, and look at that angle swooshing down the wall. What was going through your head when you were looking for the perfect shot in this room? Well, trying to keep the composition simple, organic, and impactful. So, yeah, looking at these bottles, they're beautifully displayed. So, yeah, I'm just going to frame up right here. I'm loving that swoosh as it goes down. This is a it, stunning photo. Isn't it beautiful? And it's, it's very simple. The architects and the room designers here did all the work for me. Again, in this particular instance, I'm using the live view and I'm using the touch to focus because it's making it easy for me. And again, handheld and look at that focus. Yeah, it's amazing. It focuses right in and bingo. Boom. What a shot. <laughs> Thank you. Amazing. Now, Adrian, I am loving this scene. It's like something from a movie set, Harry Potter or something like that. What are you thinking now with the Nikon D7500, a low light situation? How are you capturing that shot? Well, it's not just a low light situation. It's tricky uh, for any photographer because it's hugely backlit. A lot of cameras would be confused by the fact that there's all that ambient light coming in from outside through the stained glass. Uh, and we want to really get the detail of the, the central sort of collection of old glassware here. So again, no problem for the D7500. Actually, let the camera do its thing. Okay. It, it'll focus fast. Um, and, and again, we're handheld and that we're, focus. We're handheld. I've got 60th of a second at 3200 ISO. Spot metering and get the composition right. And if I just have a look at the review, then I'll make sure that I have really great detail on all the glass. And uh, yeah, that's what we're looking for. That is a fantastic photo. Well, Adrian, thank you for talking all things Nikon to us and the customers here in store today. It's a pleasure, Jules. If you'd like to know any more about the Nikon range, then drop into us in store or check out our website, birminghamcameras.ie. I'm Jules Call, keeping things in focus for Birmingham Cameras.